tibia and fibula. So here we've got anterior view of a right tibia and fibula. And we can see at the proximal end of the tibia up here, we have a couple of condyles. Now they don't look like the condyles on the femur, but they are these large, chunky articular parts that have articular surfaces or facets on the superior aspect. So this would be the lateral condyle. This one here would be the medial condyle. Now, just distal to them, we've got this tibial tuberosity. That's where the patellar ligament or tendon is going to attach to the bone. So it makes this great big bump here on the superior anterior surface. Now, the way we can tell at a glance which side is medial and lateral, though, is down this end of the tibia where we have a medial malleolus. So that's the medial malleolus. You can easily spot that and palpate that in someone's lower leg just above the ankle. And we can easily spot it here. So that's got to be medial. This has to be anterior. So we know we're looking at an anterior view of a right tibia. Then on the lateral aspect of the distal tibia, we have a notch for the fibula to articulate with, and that's the fibula notch. So the fibula is going to fit in there like so. The fibula notch. Oh, and I forgot one on the posterior aspect. Closer to the proximal end, this diagonal line here, or oblique line here, is the soleal line. So a muscle called soleus attaches to that line. That's the soleal line. So that's the tibia. And then we have the fibula. Now, fortunately with this fibula, the head and the lateral malleolus look quite different, but they don't always. But in this one, the head you can see is kind of more rounded in shape, whereas the malleolus is more pointed. Just inferior to the head, we have the neck. So we've got head, neck, and then lateral malleolus.